the Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, New York. Home box office sports presents the sixth game of the championship round between the Denver Nuggets and the New York Nets. Again, everybody, this is Steve Albert along with Bob Goldshaw. Great atmosphere at the Nassau Coliseum here this evening. The Nets lead three games to two in the quest for the championship of the American Basketball Association. And Bob, these two teams come off uh, wild ball games in Denver on Tuesday. The Nets had a 16 point lead in the second quarter. The Nuggets then turned it around. They led by 16 by the end of the third quarter. That's an exchange of 32 points. If that game were a human being, a psychiatrist would have had a field day. That was a strange game. Uh, the two teams took turns in playing well, but never at the same time right. until the very end. Uh, first Denver did it, then the Nets, then Denver, and then both teams kind of at the end did it. Uh, needless to say, the Nets do not want to go back to Denver and play a seventh game. And uh, we shall see, along with everybody else, what develops. Well, the young coach of the Denver Nuggets, Larry Brown, blames himself for the Nuggets predicament. I guess uh, any good coach would assume responsibility for the situation, but he says that the Nuggets must come out tonight and just dictate the tempo of this ball game. You know what I'm thinking, Steve? Uh, the other night in Denver, the Denver guards came out and started the game by pressing the net guards, and it was successful. Then they kind of slacked off, if you'll recall, and that's when the Nets caught up and went ahead. I just wonder if Denver will open with that press tonight and put some pressure on the net guards. Again, we'll have to look along with the people. Coaches are, uh, are being a little bit secretive tonight. Bob, on the left right now, we're looking at Brian Tedder, the backcourt man. On the right, it's five foot six, some say five foot five, Monty Tau of the Denver Nuggets, and he was quite a spark plug in that game. Well, one of the great things about the playoffs, really, is that uh, the less heralded people can come off the bench and do a job. Monty Tau, you may not have noticed in the stats the other night, I thought he turned it around for Denver. Uh, Jim Akins in the game before, who had not been seeing too much playing time, came off the bench. So it's not always the doctor and David Thompson. Uh, the lesser knowns can do it too. All right, the doctor who's averaging 39 points, David Thompson averaging 26 with a bad leg. We're getting ready for the play-by-play -play of tonight's game between the Denver Nuggets and the New York Nets. Tonight, game number six between the Denver Nuggets and the New York Nets in the best of seven for the ABA championship. First, let's meet the Nuggets. From Connecticut, 6-1, number 15, Jimmy Foster. From NC State, 5-7, number 13, Monty Tao. From Stanford, 6-5, number 44, Claude Terry. From Virginia, 6'8", number 22, Gus Gerard. From Denver, 6'9", number 40, Byron Beck. And from Morgan State, num number 10, 7'1", Marvin Webster. And now the Denver starting lineup. At the guards, from Colorado, 6'3", a two-time ABA All-Star, number 11, Chuck Williams. From Michigan State, 6'5", a five-time ABA All-Star, number 44, Ralph Simpson. At center, from Kentucky, 6'9", six six-time ABA All-Star and 1971 league scoring champion, number 25, Dan Issel. At the forwards of North Carolina, 6'9", the ABA's leader in two-point field goal percentage, number 24, Bobby Jones. And a North Carolina State 6'4 and a half, the ABA Rookie of the Year, number 33, David Thompson. The coach of Denver, Larry Brown, the assistant coach is Doug Moe, and the trainer, Lloyd Williams. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it introducing the New York Nets. All right, from Tennessee State, 
6-3, number 24, Ted McClain. The Manhattan, 6-3, number 11, George Busey. The Massachusetts, 6-4, number 30, Al Skinner. From Long Beach State, 6'6", six, six, number 12, Chuck Terry. From Georgia, 6'8", number 21, Tim Bassett. From Villanova, 6'2", the assistant coach of the New York Nets, number 25, Bill Melchione. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before we introduce the starting lineup, let's hear it. A big hand for number 35 from Wisconsin, starting every game, Kim Hughes. And now, the starting lineup for the New York Nets. At the guards, 6-3 from Princeton, the ABA leader in steals last year. This year's top three-point field goal shooter number 14, it's Brian Taylor. <laughs> 6 from New Mexico State, averaging 21.4 per game in the playoffs, number 23, Super John, John Williamson. At center, 6'11", Brigham Young, already a member of one ABA championship team and an eight-year veteran, number 22, Jim Akins. At the forwards, from Memphis State, six feet six, a three-time ABA All-Star, number 33, Richie Jones. From the University of Massachusetts, six feet seven, for three straight years, the ABA's most valuable player, the top scorer three of the last four years, including this year. What else can you say, ladies and gentlemen? Number 32, Julius Irving. The coach of the New York Nets, Kevin Lockery, and the trainer, Fritz Massman. Tonight's officials are John Vanek and Norm Drucker, the alternate official, Waldy Rooney. Up to all of our HBO subscribers in the East and Midwest, Mr. Super Invisible will not be seen this evening, so that we can bring you this playoff game. Mr. Super Invisible can be seen again on May 24th at 3. 2 o'clock Central Time. For our East and Midwest subscribers, Dirty Mary Crazy Larry will be shown immediately following this game. And on location with Rodney Dangerfield will be shown this evening at 11.50, 10.50 Central Time. And for our West Coast subscribers, Mr. Super Invisible and the Lubbock case will not be seen this evening because of this HBO Sports exclusive. We are ready to go. The New York Nets in white, the Denver Nuggets in blue. Vanek steps between Bobby Jones and Julius serving in the Nets control. Jim Akins playing center in place of the injured Kim Hughes. Brian Tedder barreling down the middle. Rebound Dr. J and a whistle by Norm Drucker. It's against Denver. So, Bob, we are off to a frenzied beginning here at the Nassau Coliseum. Bobby Jones, the foul. Wow, right? Brian Taylor. With an alley down the middle, as you can see right here. And there's the foul. Issel reaching over. Irving on the line. Doctor shooting 81% of the foul line against Denver in the playoffs. Averaging 39 per game. And he breaks the ice. With only eight seconds gone by. Two nothing now. 
Ralph Simpson and Chuck Williams in the backcourt. David Thompson, Dan Issel, and Bobby Jones up front. Rich Jones, Jim Akins, and Dr. J up front. Williamson and Taylor in the backcourt for New York. And somebody shoved Dan Issel. They're calling no basket. Three seconds is the call against Denver. Well, I thought so. Denver coming out in that full court like they did the other night. And there's a turnover. I wouldn't be surprised, Steve, if Denver sticks with this a little bit longer. They just showed it for about five minutes the other night and then went back into the straight man to man. But we'll look along with you and see how long they do it. Well, they get a quick reprieve as they get the ball right back. And here's a foul against Taylor. Brian Taylor of the Nets. Brian picked up six personal fouls the other night in game number five. He was ejected for a punching foul against Monty Tao. Nuggets with the ball. Here's Dan Issel. And the Nets stick with that lineup of having the big forward, Rich Jones, guard the opposing center, in this case, Dan Issel. Aikens will line up with Bobby Jones, who's a forward. It's 2-2, 11-14 left in the first. Here's a steal by Bobby Jones. A long lead pass for Simpson. Stolen away by Jones. Williamson finds Brian Taylor. Here's Williamson, who scored 18 points in the fourth quarter on Tuesday. Taylor looking for three. Rebound, Simpson. Two all. Ralph Simpson whips it over to Dan Issel. So Issel off to a good start. He has four points. Four to two nuggets. The Nets lead three games to two. A victory tonight would clinch their second ABA championship. Well, look at Denver overplaying. Believe Bobby Jones is that far out and overplaying Irving. As John Williamson misses, and Dan Issel gets the rebound. Chuck Williams playing with the injured eye, wearing that visor, and a foul against the Nets. It's on Williamson. Well, you heard that big ovation for center Kim Hughes who in the fourth quarter on Tuesday night sprained his ankle. So he's on the bench in his civilian Oh, that's code. nice. Six for Issel. Good pass from Bobby Jones. Six to Denver. Taylor! Six for Denver, Ralph Simpson. Thompson going for his first point. Rebound Jones. Rich Jones slamming into his teammate, Jim Aiken. And Williamson with the ball. There's the doctor. Passing it between his legs after the foul by Bobby Jones, his second. Look at Larry Brown and Doug Moe, the Denver coaches. Brian Taylor. Julius Irving back to Taylor. The doctor gets it again. The 24 second clock resets Julius. Oh, there's a good opening basket for the doctor. And that ties it at six. Now let's see if they give uh, Rich Jones any help if they go deep to Essel. Gee, that's some kind of shooting. That was partially deflected by the doctor. It still went in off the fingertips of David Thompson. 8-6 Denver. Here's Jumbo Jamaican. Guarded by Dan Essel. Aiken shooting 58% of yeah, the ball. Yeah, and he gave Dan Issel a lot of trouble the uh, last two games. Jim is a shooter. Good pass from Simpson to Thompson. Thompson got clobbered by Dr. J, his first foul. Well, Jim Aiken says, I'm prepared to go the full 48 minutes. He had better be. Okay, watch. This is what Denver does best. Pass the ball right there to David Thompson with room and the foul by Irving. It's funny, Steve. Uh, Denver with the best record in the ABA during the season, and their trademark, all five of those guys in the court can pass. Every one of them. It's and shoot, I might add. 
51% shooters. The whole team. Yeah, they get a lot of layups in the course of a game, and that's attributable to their good passing. 10-8 Denver. There's a steal by David Thompson, then it uh, goes off his hands. Next ball, Rich Jones with that injured left hand. You see the bandage. And it's still next ball with eight seconds on the 24 second clock. Tim Bassett, by the way, who is normally the first forward off the bench, will be the first center off the bench tonight. Host fell Jim Akins, which probably will mean Chuck Terry will be the first forward. He's free. You, you can see Tanner breaking in, but he was fouled by Simpson. This first. Well, the winners get $95,000. The losers, $76,000. And nine, Denver by one. We're tied again. That's four. 8 15 left in the first period. And it counts. Issel fouled by Jones, chance for a three point play. Well, Rich Jones thought he had position on Dan Issel that time. We'll, we'll look again and see uh, who's right. Nope. Good call. He's got to give him room to go up straight, and he didn't. Good call. You saw Rich Jones leaning in that time. It's number one on Jones, and Issel completes the three-point play, and Dan with a total of nine points, 13 to 10 Denver. Williamson looking for help. Finds Rich Jones, guarded by Thompson. Rebound, Dr. J. Six for the doctor. 195 points in 212 minutes coming in, and the doctor takes the rebound. They can take the lead for the basket. Rebound, Aikens. Slapped away to the doctor. The Nets looking for the good shot. Tanner pumps it. Aikens another offensive rebound, his second straight. Williamson. Well, that's some great rebounding air, isn't it? How four or five offensive rebounds that Denver had a good shot at each time. Nets by one. Rich Jones slams it at this one. Dr. J pulls it away from Issel. Kevin Lagre wants time. And a standing ovation for the New York Nets who lead 14-13 with 6.52 remaining in the first. Well, somebody made a point to steal the ABA championship trophy in Denver the other day. So if the Nets should win, what they'll probably do is present to the Nets the silver bowl which they won in 74. Uh-huh. It's an $800 I, bowl. I think, Steve, as long as that bowl contains the 95000 bucks and the championship rings, nobody's going to be too upset. So Denver coming out, and the Nets up by 1.14-13, but the Nets doing a bang-up job off both boards. I think one of the questions to be asked at this point in the game is how long will Jim Akins be able to go? Bear in mind that he has not started a game, nor has he played uh, very long when he has been in. So Jim Aiken's endurance is a question. Aiken says you don't save anything in a championship game. He says I'll have five months to rest. 14-13 at 6.42 left in the first. Here's Aiken's number 22. Throw it away. Here's Chuck Williams. He puts on the brakes and fires it up. Chuck playing with a variety of injuries. His eye and his leg, 15-14 Denver, and he had a good game on Tuesday. Rich Jones. Rich hasn't found the range uh, thus far, and a foul is on Jones. 
to second. Nuggets by one, 6-10 on the clock. Blocked by Aikens. It's off Aikens. There's the help that uh, Rich Jones did not get in the first few moments of the game. You saw him leave Bobby Jones that time. Issel triggers it into Simpson. And it's taken away by the Nets. Here comes Dr. J. Dana Williamson. Blocked oh, by Jones. God, we are seeing some super defensive plays tonight. Simpson lost the ball to Jones. Three on one. Taylor. Rich Jones almost lost the ball. He did. Well, that's got to be murderous to a guy like Bobby Jones. Who do you defend? It's 16 15 nets. Here's Chuck Williams, guarded by a muscular John Williamson. Dr. J had position, and he comes out of the pack. Here's Taylor. Jones into the doctor. He swings in. Miraculous but over, but it wouldn't fall. Thompson, we have end to end action now. And that's a beauty. Boy, I don't know. I've said this before, and I must say it again. For the superstars that have played this game, I still maintain Irving is the least protected I've ever seen. They call a foul on Aikens there, which might have been. Gus Gerard comes in for Denver. Bobby Jones getting a rest. Seven for Thompson. Jones did not score. It's now 18-16 Denver, 4, 58 remaining in the first. Well, Williamson dribbled right into the hands of Gus Gerard. Gerard scored eight points, eight straight points just before the first half in game number five on Tuesday. So he had a hot spurt. Denver certainly putting more pressure on the net guards in this game than they've done throughout this series. 2016 Denver, the doctor throws it up. Gus Gerard comes off the bench. So far looking good. Issel. 11 for Issel, he leads the way in scoring. And it's 22 to 16, the biggest lead for the Nuggets, six points. Aikens way out. 10 on the shot clock, Taylor lets fly. Gus Gerard has it and shovels it over to Simpson. Gerard off the pick from Simpson. Rebound, Rich Jones. Now Williamson will be a lot more careful than he was before. Uh, he's going to get some help, Gus Gerard will. Watch this now. There's help from Simpson. And it just wouldn't drop for the doctor. David Thompson on the left to William. And he took steps. So we're seeing two changes on the part of Denver tonight. Number one, more pressure on the net backcourt, making the Nets start their offense higher up. And secondly, uh, more help with Dr. J, more like San Antonio did than what Denver has been doing. Both teams come off rugged, physical semifinal series. New York with San Antonio, Denver with Kentucky. Six-point Denver lead, six seconds on the shot clock. Tater uncorks it for three. Three-point play for Brian Tater. He is the top three-point shooter in the ABA, and he pulls the Nets to within three, cuts that lead in half. Gus Gerard now. David Thompson slams to the floor. That's a tremendous rebound, isn't it? David Thompson just exploding for that rebound that time. Just watch David Thompson on this one. Look at that. And the jump ball right there. Well, up that pile up under the basket, there'll be a jump ball between David Thompson and Jim Akins, and you can see that leaping ability. Thompson just tipped it over to Byron Beck. Here's Thompson. Beck just plowing in on Jim Akins, and an offensive foul on Beck, his first. 
Marvin Webster comes in for David Thompson for Denver, and Tim Bassett comes in for Julia Serving. So Kevin sticks to his original plan of substituting Bassett for Irving. I thought he might go in for Jim Akins first. Thompson goes out with seven, the doctor with six. It's 22 to 19, Denver. 2.40 on the clock, Taylor has it. Double team by Simpson and Gerard. it'll be Nets ball. Nets seeking to become only the second ABA team to uh, win at least two titles. Indiana the other with three. Rick Jones, rebound, Jamaica. A fall away. He continues his fine percentage shooting, and the Nets within one. Four for Jim Akins. Simpson fires it up over Taylor. Akins gets the rebound. We'll see Al Skinner coming in in just a moment. Brett Jones angling in. Rich has been cold. Two minutes. Two minutes left in the first. Chuck Williams across. Here's Beck. Blocked by Aiken. But Bannock says it's a foul. That's Jim Aiken's second. And John Bannock comes over to settle Kevin Lagery down. Little Monty Tao is in, number 13. Al Skinner in for the Nets. Now this will be an interesting matchup, because if Monty Tao takes Williamson, you can bet that John will try and overpower him or set up low. You can say the same for Skinner, Steve, at 6'4". Yeah. Monty Tao. Yeah, it looks like he'll be guarding Williamson. He scored his first field goal of the playoffs in the closing stages of the fifth game, and that was a backbreaker. Again, full court pressure by Denver. Denver by three, 24-21, 145 left in the first. Now he's liable to back him in as far as he can go. And it causes a foul on Gus Gerard. His first. Williamson will have two plus the bonus. The Nets have set plays designed for the guards where they go low whenever a player like Williamson or Skinner has an advantage. So keep, look, look for that. Look for the net low post plays to the guard or, as we just saw, John Williamson backing Monty Tau in. On Tuesday, Williamson had four points at the half. He wound up with 24 points. No success there. It's still a three-point Denver lead. 135 left. Byron Beck, good percentage shooter himself. Monty Tao dishes it back off to Beck. Rebound, Bassett. Rich Jones. A lot of muscle in that New York lineup now as Bassett goes in. Offensive foul. Now we'll see Bassett's. They call a foul right there. Thompson in there for uh, Simpson. Yeah, Thompson in the backcourt now. Gus Gerard into the lane. The tip by Webster. And it's 26 to 21 Denver with 50 seconds left in the first period. Skinner now, guarded by Thompson. Here's Williamson. John, deflected by Gus Gerard and Webster yanks it down. Here's Powell. Thompson, unmolested. I don't think we'll see Irving on the bench too much longer. Nets down by seven right now, but more importantly, not moving very well on offense. Jim Aikens in a crowd, the foul on Denver. And Julia Serving and Brian Taylor will be coming in. Irving for Rich Jones, Taylor for John Williamson. Foul was on Gerard, his second. Williamson goes out with two. 
And the excellent foul shooter in Jumbo Jim, who was second in the league, who has been first in the league before, a very unusual statistic yeah, for a center. That's right, he shot just under 90%. Uh, Billy Keller was first of the Indiana Pacers. Boone must have been close, too. He's right up there in the foul yeah. shooting. That's all. Jim Aikens with six. Six for Aikens. 28-23. Denver by five. 20 seconds left in the first. Simpson, number 44, brings it across. He is greeted by Skinner. 12 seconds on the clock. Marvin Webster, the human eraser. Five seconds. Skinner has three seconds. Dr. J has one second, and he lost the ball. One second on the clock. That's Gerard, Gerard back in for Webster. I didn't even see him go out, Steve. <laughs> Larry, Larry moves him quickly. One second left. Larry uh, pulling out all the stops with one second, making a change. And Dr. J has it. So the buzzer sounds ending the first period. With the score, the uh, Denver Nuggets 28, the New York Nets 23. More out of now. Well... With the first quarter over, uh, a couple of things unfold. Number one, as we said, Denver's defense much more aggressive than it's been at any other time in the series on a sustained basis. They're not just uh, switching, they're jumping out at the nets. New York doing a good rebounding job tonight. They trail by five as we start the second period. Denver goes with Webster, Jones, and Beck. David Thompson and little Monty Tao. The Nets go with Jim Akins, Tim Bassett, Julius Irving, Al Skinner, and Brian Taylor. Talking about aggressiveness, it took a 5-5 backcourt man, Monty Tao, to exert some physical uh, activity into that Denver lineup the other night. Slapped away by Skinner, recovered by Webster. Here's Monty. Webster slips it in for Bobby Jones. It's knocked away by Akins. Dr. J has it. Skinner to the doctor. Steal by Thompson. The two North Carolina State men bring it down. Colin Thompson. Thompson lets it go. Boy, oh, is he quick. Mm. 11 points for David. Playing with a sore leg. 30 to 23, matching the biggest lead by the Nuggets. Skinner. Dr. J pulls it down, and it's goaltending, though. No. Aikens. Again. Good effort by Big Jim. Tremendous block that time by Webster. Jim Aikens with eight points. 30 to 25, Denver. Monty Tau sandwiched. Now he's open. Monty. They pumped it in. And he's coming off a broken right hand injury. 32 to 25. Monty becoming a factor in this series. Aikens barreling in, rebound Bobby Jones. And Thompson down to Marvin Webster. Who would think at the beginning of the year that Marvin Webster and Monty Tao would be instrumental in the Denver Nuggets playoff surge? Webster. Oh my, my goodness. He had his belly button on the rim that time. <laughs> and this crowd is buzzing on that one, as they should be. Oh, did he get up. Whew. Leaping David Thompson with 13 points. 34-25, biggest lead for the Nuggets. Nine. Taylor gets open. It's 11 for Taylor. 34-27, Denver. 9.45 left in the second quarter. And on the shot clock, Webster back to Thompson. Six seconds on the clock. Thompson again. 15 for Thompson. He's just got amazing range for a player who is so quick and explosive as he is. And he comes into the league with that kind of range. Dr. J dribbles it off his foot and recovers in the corner. And it's kicked out by Denver. 
Well, three subs for Denver. Issel, Ralph Simpson, and Chuck Williams come in. For the Nets, Rich Jones is back in for Jim Akins, and that will make Tim Bass at the center. Akins leaves with eight points, and he looks like he could use a breather. Yep. Six on the shot clock, Taylor. Balls away over Williams. Thompson, barely 6'4". Good save by Thompson. Did you see that? But it's an offensive foul. You know, he was dunking that ball about eight feet from the basket that time. I don't believe that. Let's see it. <laughs> but it's a charge. That's his first. Brian Taylor walking the tightrope on the sidelines. Ten seconds on the 24. A feed into the doctor. Reverse. Oh, is that gorgeous? Eight points. He'll explode soon. We haven't seen one yet from him. He goes into one of his patented spurts. Thompson again. Well, that's about. 23 feet or so from the basket, and you certainly have to guard him against that drive. 17 for Thompson. Bassett has it. It's 38-29, Denver. Here's the doctor again. One-hander. And we've got a whistle and a foul against New York. Al Skinner. Some tough luck, really. Tough luck on the shooting right now, part of the Nets. Here's that reverse by Irving. And back live, here's Ralph Simpson. Nine point Denver lead. Simpson puts the fake on the doctor. Rebound Issel. 13 for Dan Issel. And it's 40 to 29. Biggest lead, 11 by the Nuggets. Skinner and a Bassett. And I think Chuck Williams re injured his left calf muscle on that play. At least he was limping. Well, he's not right now. He had a calf tear. As he came down court, he yelled over to Coach Larry Brown that he was all right. Thompson has 19. Not bad for a rookie. And he's doing it outside and inside, isn't he? Rich Jones with a turnaround. Rich just can't hit. He is yet to score. It's 42-31, Denver. And Skinner was all over Williams. That's number two on Skinner. Denver running that break and semi-break, and they do it well. John Williamson comes in for Al Skinner. Skinner yet to score. 42-31, Nuggets, 7.05 left in the first half. Bad pass by Bobby Jones, and out comes the doctor. Left side of Williamson. Taylor could not get possession around Bobby Jones. Here's Issel. And a good play by Bassett who knocked it away. And the Nets call time. So 6.45 left in the second, and the Nets trailing 42-31. There are the Denver Nuggets as they come out to the floor with uh, Monty Tao, Bobby Jones, David Thompson, Dan Issel, and Ralph Simpson. Thompson. 19. There is David, who's rookie of the year. Steve, I like that comment Alvin Adams made the other day. We'll, we'll repeat it when we get a chance. That was good. Issel inbounds to Tao. Williamson looks like a giant next to Tao. Oh! Monty Tao has four points. He just got away from Williamson and shoveled it up and in. 44-31, 13-point lead, Denver. In front of this uh, capacity crowd at the Nassau Coliseum. Ten on the shot clock. Fans urging the Nets on. Five on the clock. Now three. I don't know if Williamson knows. Now, here's a foul 
against the Nets. This is Monty Tal in that last basket, as you see Williamson leaving his feet. Going to take that back. It's just a, a 24 second violation. Nuggets in possession. Dan Issel. Simpson fires it up. Simpson with his first field goal. He had 21 on Tuesday. It's 46 to 31. 15 point lead. Denver, their largest lead. Williamson. Four for Williamson. 46 33 Denver. Well, Five. Jamaicans, excuse me, Steve, going back, and we're going to see Bill Melchioni for the first time in this series. Right, he has yet to play. Thompson. Oh, my goodness. Thompson is setting up a weather balloon. It's 48 to 33, and Monty Tau reaching in on Williamson. Looking for three, Taylor. That's his second three-pointer. 14 for number 14, Brian Tater. 48 to 36, 12 point Denver lead. 4.58 left. Oh, Thompson! Believe him. That's 23 for Thompson, and that's that famed and fabled alley oop pass that they worked so well in North Carolina State. Monty Town now really spearheading this attack. He's Got inside for Jones. Monty Tao is ripping the Nets apart. 52 to 36, and as Bob said, Phil Melchione getting up for the first time in this series. Dr. J. Dr. J simply looking to wake the Nets up. Well, the Nets certainly need some leadership in that backcourt right now. They're not getting any. Melchione, uh, his first appearance, what kind of shape he's going to be in remains to be seen. Here's the doctor trying to wake everybody up with that slam. If necessary, as I was starting to say, game seven will be Sunday, May 16th at Denver, and they're still not sure of the time. Ralph Simpson brings it across. There's Issel. Boy, they are really on fire, this team. They are. That was good defense. 15 for Issel. 54, 38. Joe Melchione has to be a, a little cold. He hasn't played yet. I think they got Aikens on a shove. Let's see. They do. It's his third. One man that can't afford to get in foul trouble is Jim Aiken. If you tune in late, just to remind you, Kim Hughes, you see him, uh, rather, that is not Hughes, but Hughes is not in his uniform tonight. He's on the net bench, but he will not play. Simpson. And Gerard, way off. They missed, Steve. Yeah. I knew they'd miss. Here's Jones, still looking for his first field goal. And somebody fouled him, Gus Gerard. And that's his third. Now it's a 16-point lead, and as Bob pointed out before, it was a 16-point lead that Denver had. The Nets cut it to four with 55 seconds to go in game six. But of course, Den will win on to win. 118 to 110. So Rich Jones looking to get on the scoreboard. Couple of shots. Rich Jones. Cannot find it. 54-38. 16 point lead. Simpson deflected. Rebound. Dr. J here is Belchioni.
Nets uh, disorganized. Phil Melchioni. Melchioni's first shot in the playoffs. 54 to 40. Here's Thompson. And now the Nets defense tightening up. Melchioni has it. He finds Tater. Tater looking for three. Off. We've got a foul. Melchioni is first. Byron Beck replaces Dan Issel. Gus Gerard out. Bobby Jones back. Well, more substitutions, so let's just set it for you. Beck, Bobby Jones, and uh, David Thompson up front. Chuck Williams and Monty Tao in the backcourt. Denver leads by 14 with just 2.33 left to go in this half. And Thompson finally misses. Twenty-four for Thompson, and it's fifty-five to forty, Denver. Here's the doctor. Doctor again. What a ah, beautiful pass. Pass it with four, and the Nets now trail by thirteen. Monty Tao. Good pass from Jones to Williams, and it won't go. Rebound! Aggressive rebound by Jones, and Beck hit the deck. Here's Taylor, and the Nets are really running now, but Taylor turned it over. This will back, Thompson out. Larry Brown's revolving door continues. 55 to 42, Denver by 13, a minute 50 left in the first half. Beck swings it over to Williams. Byron Beck, wide open. Rebound, Rich Jones. Rich with that angry look on his face, that snarling look. Phil Melchioni, over to Dr. J. Great move, great move that time. Through the foul. And Melchioni is certainly getting things moving on this team. All right, let's watch that move by Julius. And the foul. Issel's first. And Julius Irving with the 10 points, two for two at the foul line. He has scored uh, 48 points, 45, 31, 34, and 37, averaging just under 40 in the playoffs. Mm. 37 was his low, wasn't it? 31 was 31. his low, but not far. <laughs> now Thompson comes back for Monty Tao. I, no, I'm sorry. He uh, is not. Thompson is uh, playing a forward spot. Tao and Williams are still in the backcourt. Monty faked you out. He took the uh, scenic right. tour. Looks like he was going back to the bench. Dan Issel. Thompson got it, and he's fouled again. Well, he is just something tonight. Watch him go around Dr. J, who is an excellent defensive player right here. How's that move? It's the rookie of the year. Webster comes in. We were saying before Alvin Adams, who was the NBA rookie of the year, in his acceptance, brief acceptance speech, said he'd like to thank everybody and also thank David Thompson for going into the ABA. <laughs> well, David now with 27 points. The foul was on Bassett, his second, and that makes it 58-43. Denver, a minute 10 left in the half. Mel looking for his second straight. Rebound Williams. One minute left. The steal by Tater. Two on two. Brian accelerating. Off to Melchioni. Four points for Melchioni. And that makes it 58 45. 45 seconds left. 
Here's Tuck coming against Denver. It's on Monty Tau offensive foul. He was shoving somebody, and look at the Denver bench now. 35 seconds left, and uh, a pass goes astray into the hands of Thompson. 13 point Denver lead, 25 seconds remaining. Amazing to watch Monty Tau without the ball. He is all over the place. Now he throws it up. Rebound, Jones, 10 seconds. Eight seconds. Taylor, two seconds. Back to the rebound, here's Thompson. He might have been fouled, let's see. Nope, that's the half. Right, okay. That's the end of the half with the score. The Denver Nuggets 58 and the New York Nets 45 sending uh, these fans to the outer parts of the Nassau Coliseum talking to themselves. 58-45, Denver by 13 at halftime. Back here at the Nassau Coliseum where the Denver Nuggets lead the New York Nets 58-45. to Both teams have arrived on the court getting ready for the second half. The high man is uh, David Thompson with 27 points. That's pretty good shooting. Boy, ready for this one, folks? He took 13 shots from the field, and he made 11. And that includes a lot of outside shooting. David Thompson, 27 points. Denver shooting 56% from the field, which they are capable of doing. The net shooting a poor 37% right now. Rebounding, no problem at this point in rebounds for the Nets. Uh, actually. Denver has 26 rebounds to the Nets 25. But uh, the shooting has been the difference. That puts it all in a nutshell, 56% to 36%. Steve Albert and Bob Goldshaw in back of Fritz Massman, the trainer, traveling secretary of the uh, New York Nets. Uh, momentarily, they're going to be making a presentation to uh, the Nets All-Star backcourt man, Brian Tedder, he's being awarded a certificate of appreciation by City Hall representatives of Mayor Beam's office. The uh, certificate cites Brian Tedder for his work of busing in hundreds of kids from the five boroughs of New York City to right here, the Nassau Coliseum, uh, located in Uniondale, New York, in conjunction with Rap with the Stars Incorporated, a youth organization. So Brian Tedder being awarded that certificate right now. We'll review some more of the uh, Halftime statistics, we said David Thompson shot 11 for 13. We look at Julius Irving, who shot four for 11, three of four from the free throw line, and totaled 11 points in the uh, first half. Rich Jones was uh, very, very cold, 0 for 5 from the field and 0 for 2 from the foul line. Brian Tedder also only shot 30%. But that has been the man right there, the doctor. And a look at Kevin Lagry. And you know what's going through the mind of uh, Kevin Lagry right now? Well, they got to get it, Steve, right from the backcourt. Yep. Because as you can see, folks, Denver is making the net set up much higher than they like to. And it's up to the net guards to bring that offense down a little bit deeper. They don't want the forwards to have to come out. So they're going to have to do something uh, as far as Brian Taylor and John Williamson are concerned about controlling the ball and getting that offense moving. Well, the Nets have come back to four. In fact, they did it on Tuesday. They were down by 16. They cut the lead to four. There's that presentation being made to Brian Tanner from the mayor's office. And in just a couple of minutes, we'll get the third quarter underway for a capacity crowd here at the Nassau Coliseum. The action being brought to you on home box office. $95,000 to the winner. $76,000 to the loser. I guess that comes out to about $8,000 apiece. Now, if they include the announcer, Steve, <laughs> the per man share will be a little bit less. But well, then it'll be $1,000 apiece. What do you think? <laughs> it's not bad. Not a bad idea. Jordan. 
science fiction is scariest when it comes close to being science fact, such as the case on Tuesday, May 18th, when whole box office presents The Terminal Man. George Siegel stars as a man who has a computer implanted into his brain, programmed to control his unpredictable fits of violent rage. But the uh, computer malfunctions with terrifying and uncontrollable results. It's a thought-provoking film and brilliantly produced. So don't miss it. The Terminal Man next week right here on Home Box Office. All right, Denver goes with the starting lineup. Issel, Bobby Jones, David Thompson, Chuck Williams, and Simpson. The Nets also go with the same team that started the game. 58-45, the Nets control. Denver leading by 13. Rich Jones still has yet to hit for the rebound. Julia serving. 13, and it's 58-47. The Nets come out storming. Here's Dan Issel, the crowd yelling defense. Rebound, Dr. J, and the crowd erupts. Rich Jones lost his footing, Dan Issel. Gets the ball. Beautiful play by Issel. And here comes Williams. Simpson misfires. Thompson battles with Aiken. And we'll have a jump ball. Easy, Big Jim. Ooh. These two teams come out of the locker room like hungry wolves. Okay, Aikens and Thompson right there. Jump ball. Aikens goes. 6'11", Thompson barely 6'4", but Thompson can really leap. And the tip again, controlled by New York. Brian Tedder accelerating to the basket. Rebound, Thompson it just would not fall. Thompson. The tip by Issel. Issel with rage in his eyes. Well, he's only missed two shots tonight, too. As we said, Thompson was 11 for 13. Issel was 7 for 9 in that first half. 60 to 47, Denver Williamson using the glass. Batted out, it's Denver's ball. Dan Issel, a man possessed. As this third quarter And begins. a change right here, Steve. Brian Taylor guarding David Thompson for the first time. Yep. And Julius Serving goes back and plays a guard. In this case, Chuck Williams. So they're going to go for quickness on David Thompson. Here's Issel. The rare miss for Dan. And the doctor almost turned it over. Here's Williamson to Brian Taylor. Taylor driving. And Dan Issel. He lost it. A uh, tough break for the second year man, Al Skinner. But the Nets receive a, an ovation here at the National Coliseum for trimming a 22 point lead to nine. Steve Albert and Bob Goldshaw here on Home Box Office. Kevin Lagery with some last minute instructions. Dr. J now leads the uh, team out to the court. It'll be Denver ball. Thompson inbounds. Byron Beck, his ninth year on the Nuggets, looking for his first championship. Monty Tau and the Issel blocked by Julius. Here's Williamson. Looking to cut the lead to seven. Back to Skinner. He turned it over again. Well, perhaps the tension. Getting to young Al Skinner. That's two turnovers in a row. Simpson comes in, replacing Monty Tao. Ted McLean comes in for Brian Taylor. So the Nets still stay with that three guard system and Skinner will be guarding David Thompson. McLean and Williamson line up with the guards. Taylor sits now with 18. 92-83 Denver. 9.35 on the clock fourth quarter. Simpson. We've got a foul on New York. Tim Bassett looks to be the culprit. That's his fifth. 
That's his fifth and it's the third team foul on the Yokes. Third team foul on the Nets. And you see uh, Ted McLean getting ready to guard. Ralph Simpson and now Richie Jones comes in. Bassett goes out with five fouls and four points. Thompson to Issel. They're working around the periphery as Williams looks for the shot. Fans thought it was traveling. Thompson lets fly. Simpson, I should say. Here's Rich Jones down to Williamson. Spinning it on Simpson. Back to Jones, who has yet to score tonight. Looks for his first. Still nothing for Jones. Chuck Williams now. Fans on the edge of their seats. With 8.55 left and a nine-point lead. Oh, what a play by McLean. A clean block. Williamson. 16 for Williamson, and they cut the lead to seven. Great play by McLean on that block. Really pretty. Back to the man-to-man -man full court, or token man-to-man. You gotta remember that play by McLean if the Nets pull this out. Listen to this crowd. Six on the shot clock. Good pass from Williams to Jones, way off. Here comes Rich Jones, down to Williamson. Williamson, seven points in the lead. They can cut it to five. Down by 22. Williamson finds the shot. Got it. I tell you, John Williamson believes he can score off anybody. Oh, man, what a comeback. Five points. Separate these two teams. Should the Nets pull this one out, we're going to go into the locker room after the game. We don't want to jinx anybody, but we're just reporting. Oh, well, you got it. Got to say it. Put it in perspective, Bob. <laughs> the Nets have come back from 22 to 5, and should they pull this out in front of this big crowd, we will be on the scene where all the celebration will be taking place. And I hope you brought an extra change, just in case. This is a backcourt foul against the Nets. Julius Irving's second. And once again, the Nets, John Williamson, coming up with the big plays, as he did in the last game. John on the bench right now, I don't think he'll be there very long either, just getting his win. 7.59 to go. Nets trail by five. This 7.59 will probably seem like an eternity. Crowd not upsetting Simpson in the least. Tremendous concentration. He's got four. He is way under his norm, though. He only has four points. 94.89, Denver by seven. Here's Hound Dog. Back lost his feet. Lost his feet on the drive that time. Taylor going for the steal. Williams to Simpson. Simpson down to Issel. 26 for Issel. Another good pass. Ninety-six, eighty-seven. Denver, seven twenty-five. Here's the loop in the Dr. J. And the foul, blocking foul on Denver. Issel's fourth. Ted McLean goes out. Gave the Nets a big boost in there. He leaves with one point for one big steal. Nine point Denver lead, Rich Jones. Again, a looping feed for J, Dr. J. Bobby Jones not giving him any room, so he whips it over to Williamson. Williamson, again! Back to the zone, for no man-to-man -man press. 
20 for uh, Williamson, who again had four at the half. He has scored 16 in this half. 96-89, seven points separate, 6.50. Issel, line drive. Al Skinner. Here's Dr. J. Got it again. Two times, and he can't score. Rebound, Issel. Kevin Lockery is livid on the sidelines looking for a foul. Here's Ralph Simpson. He pulls up. Julius gets the rebound. 96-89. Look at Julius. Williamson saves it. And he's fouled with a go and go. And he's fouled. Okay, now right here is where they lose the break. They lose the break as Williamson uh, can't handle the pass. But watch this tremendous shot as Bobby Jones hits him. And there's another example of the strength, the physical strength of John Williamson. That shot was not thrown off one iota. And he can cut it down to four. John Williamson has scored 18 points in this second half. Twenty second entry timeout. Williams has scored 18 in the fourth quarter on Tuesday. He has scored 18 in the second half tonight. And the uh, timeout is for Williamson, who lo lost his breath. Dalen Augury directing traffic. Tell you, you can talk about John Williamson, and he's not a great passer, and you're right. And sometimes he goes too much one on run, and you're right. But when the game is close and you want shots made, he and Julius are the guys I want shooting if I coach the team. Now, coming off the Bobby Jones foul, John Williamson, who has 22 points. He has cut the lead to four. 96 to 92, Denver by four. The Nets once trailed by 22, 6 10 on the clock. Jones to Issel. 28 for Issel. Foul in the backcourt. Monty Chow, his fourth. The Nuggets are over the limit. Monty Chow goes for the steal. Here's that great break. Bobby Jones to Issel, who lays it in right out of the textbook. And this is where Monty Chow commits the foul. See him right there. Now, Kevin Lagre, as you can see, in violent disagreement with John Bennett. I'm trying to wonder why. Now he just sloughs it off, and now he comes back. Roy Bow, the president of the Nets, is behind the scorer's table. The backcourt foul. And Norm Drucker is really having it out with Bill Melchioni. You see Bill right off to our left. I'm what, were they, what were they arguing about? It could be over the amount of shots that Brian Taylor has. There's quite a contrast sitting down Larry Brown. Brian Taylor at the line. He has 19, including two three-pointers. Steve, everybody's head in this arena, bobbing up and down, down when they're looking at the player, up to look at the scoreboard in time. Right. And 20 for Taylor. Two-point lead, Denver. I'm sorry, four-point lead, 98-94. Six minutes left. Turn it over. Thompson turned it over, and the Nets can pull within two. Larry Brown now up off the bench. Denver leads by four, 98 to 94, 555 remaining. John Williamson, who scored 18 in the second half, puts it up, and it is! Denver by two, 538 left. It's a brand new ball game. Crowd to Williams. Williams fires it up and in. 14 for Williams. Close to 16,000 fans just going wild. 
196 Denver. And New York calls time. A championship will be won by New York if they pull this out. If not, they go to game seven on Sunday in Denver. Thompson has 38. The doctor, Julia, serving is 29. Taylor has 20. Williamson has 24. And Issel has 28. And the Nets have trimmed a 22 point lead down to four. They had it within two a couple of minutes ago. New York. It's now 196. They can put it to within two again with 524 left in the game of regulation time. Williamson, the man. Look how he's looking at Chuck Williams. Here's Dr. J. 10 seconds on the shot clock. The doctor makes the move. The doctor can't score. Rebound, Issel. Monty Tau. Alley oop to Thompson. Didn't work. I think they got Issel climbing. Yep. It's his fifth. I thought Monty Tau was throwing that ball over the backboard that time. And Thompson, although he did not control it, got up there. That's his fifth. The Nets can pull within two. 196, 453 left. Here's John Williams, guarded by Chuck Williams. Williamson again off the glass. No, this time though. No. Here come the Nuggets now. Almost stolen by Bassett. Chuck Williams yelling for help. Here's Bobby Jones with 435 left. David Thompson guarded by Julius. Shovels it off to Issel. Monty Tau. Tau slips, but he gives it off to Issel. Good. 30 for Issel. Six point Denver lead, 417. There's a foul by Bobby Jones. Now that is his sixth. That's it for Bobby Jones, perhaps. Decision here now by Larry Brown. Should he take out Bobby Jones? He better with uh, a six-point lead. Yep, Simpson Brownson. comes in. It's tough to lose a guy of that caliber. Well, Bobby Jones, just sensational on defense. In my opinion, he and the ABA commissioner, the two best forwards, ever to play on defense. And Al Skinner now coming in. So Irving can cut it to four right here, Steve. And plenty of time. 4.15 to go. 102 for the Nuggets. 96 for the Nets. Who's Skinner in for? Rich Jones. Jones hasn't scored. Julius Irving at the line with 29. 8 for 12. 9 for 12 at the line. Thirty for Julius. One hundred two to ninety-seven. It's a five-point Denver lead. Four ten on the clock. And the foul on Bassett. That's his sixth. And that's it for him. Well, let's see. Uh, we'll take a look at Bassett on this play. Watch him see if he's moving. He sure is. Good call. No doubt. Higgins comes in right now. David Thompson. Here's Thompson. Thompson, six for eight, 38 points. Looking for 40. The match is high in the playoff. He's got it. 104 to 97, seven point lead with 4.05 left. Akins goes down. Williamson, stolen by Tao, foul by Tao. That's his fifth. We'll see the foul again. 
right there, says Norm Drecker. Monty goes back, Aikens comes out. Monty just looked at Drucker and said, you're so wrong. And left it at that. Williamson at the line. There's the bonus. 25 for Williamson. Zone press. Monty top double with his foot picked up by Jones. It's a six point Denver lead. And it's uh, knocked out by Williams. Well, now, Monty in some hot water. First the foul, then he lost the ball. So how things go back and forth in this series. Aikens in for offense. Jones figures it in for Skinner or Taylor. Taylor puts it up. And it's back to four. Four points, yep. 22 for Taylor, 104-100. Nets trail by four, 342 left. Monty Tao, knocked out, who's it off? It's off Denver. And the Nets can pull within two again. Really, when Monty Tao drives to the hoop, there's no reason for anybody to leave his feet. Williamson, three and a half minutes to go. He puts it up, too hard, the tip. Back tap to Taylor, Taylor throws it up, no! Storm Drucker blows the whistle and a foul on Denver. Tremendous rebounding by the Nets that time. That's his sixth, Issel. Bobby Jones has six, Stan Issel has six. They're gonna have to wrap Irving in ice after this game. I'll tell you, and if this goes in overtime, they're in trouble. Hitter back in. Aikens out. Byron back in. Dan Issel out. And Kevin Loggery directing traffic. And Marvin Webster comes in. Yeah, there goes Issel. What do we got here, Steve? Denver. Yep. With Webster, Beck, and Thompson. Simpson and Williams. The Nets. As Aikens comes in with Aikens, Irving, Skinner, Taylor, and Williamson. Down by four, 318 to go. Dr. J to the foul line, 30 points. The next trail by three. 31 for Julius Irving. Rebound Aikens. The next foul by one. Oh, what a rebound by Aikens. Rebound one kept it alive. Number two made the basket. And he can tie it up. He was fouled. He can tie it up with this foul shot with three minutes and 15 seconds to go. He's the second best free throw shooter in the ABA. 3.15 to go, and everybody on their feet. Here at the Nassau Coliseum, you see the score. Denver by one. The Nuggets led by 22 earlier. Here it is. Tie ball game. 104-104, the Nets finally tie it up after battling back. 3.10 left. Williams across. Tremendous, dramatic finish. Simpson throws it up. Webster gets the rebound. Knocked away by Skinner. Don't bring that ball down, Marvin. Those back Cortman. Love it. Here comes a play. They want Webster to take it out. Yep. Big Marvin. Counted there by Aikens. Here's Byron Beck. And on the shot clock. 
into Webster. Seven on the shot clock. They walked that time. They got him. And it's a turnover. Up and down. The ball goes back to the Nets. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Tie ball game. And the Nets call time. New York City. 104 all, 240 left, and Williamson will do the inbounding to Taylor. Williamson with 20 points in the second half. The crowd roaring when Dr. J has the ball. Williamson. The Nets lead. 106 to 104, 26 for Williamson, 22 in the second half. And Drucker blows the whistle for what? 22nd entry timeout as Williams got poked in that eye. He got 22 in the score. 22 and a half. Well, now they say 28 for Williamson, so let's make it 24 in the second half. Two nineteen left. Williams is all right. Tremendous comeback by the Nets. They lead by two. And this match is their biggest lead of the night. Two fifteen, the clock ticking. A victory would give the Nets a championship. Simpson is in the backcourt. Turnover. Backcourt. And the Nets have everything going for them right now. And a dejected Denver bench. The Nets up by two with 2.02 left. Now the two-minute mark. The Nets have the momentum going. Ten seconds on the clock, and they're going to the doctor. Guarded by Byron Beck. Skinner with four on the clock. He's grabbed. And the foul on Denver. On Byron Beck. Larry Brown pacing the sideline. 106 104 New York. And here's Skinner. One for two at the line. Al Skinner. And it goes! The Nets by three. This is their biggest lead of the night. And you got to look at that Nets bench. They are hopping. Skinner. No, he's got the bonus. One more. Skinner can put the lead to four. He does. And with that, Bob Goldshaw takes off for the locker room. Just in case, with the Nets up by four. 140 left. There's a foul by Skinner on Thompson. That's his third, Thompson to the foul line. 108, 104, Denver, trailing by four now, after they had led just about all the way with a minute 39 remaining. We will hold for it here in light of the fact that Bob Goldshall has gone to the locker room, and we will have a post-game celebration in the locker room if the Nets hold on, and you'll see it all here on home box office. 108, 106, New York by two, 135. Williamson losing the ball to Webster. Webster was fouled by Aikens, and uh, that's trouble. That's six on Aikens. Number six on Jumbo Jim Aikens. The Nets over the limit. Webster will go to the line, and uh, Kevin Lagery calls for the services of Rich Jones. Rich Jones has four fouls and no points. And Aikens will be going out. And he leaves with 15 points and six fouls. It was lonely back there. Bob Goldshaw has returned, but he's got quick feet. He can I can't leave. I don't want to jinx anybody. <laughs> Webster. Oh, what pressure on this guy's hands, a rookie. 
He missed them both. And the Nets get the rebound up by two at a minute 25 left, 108, 106. For the championship of the ABA. In this game six, the Nets lead three games to two. 114. Seven on the shot clock. The doctor over to Rich Jones. He fakes out Webster. He puts it up. No. Rebound Webster. Webster. Good balance. Now, one minute exactly remaining. We're under a minute. 108, 106, New York. The misfire by Beck. Here comes Williamson. Brian Tanner with 50 seconds left. Brian Tanner on the drive. Oh, what a play by Webster, but it's going to be goaltending. No, nope, it's goaltending. Brian Tanner has 24, the Nets 5-4. 45 seconds to go. Here it is again. Here's the goaltending by Webster, and Tanner gets the bucket, and Larry Brown calls time. 45 seconds to go. And the Nets lead 110 to 106. And tempers flaring, a little scuffle going on behind our broadcast area. A fight in the stands as Williams inbounds. Now the police come to the scene. Here's Byron Beck over to Thompson. Thompson puts it up. No! Thompson gets it again. Lost the ball. Williamson has the ball. He lost the ball. It's to Denver. Denver's ball with 35 seconds to go on the next 5 4. That was a wild sequence. Normie Drucker hands the ball to Byron Beck. Over to Simpson. 33 seconds to go. Four point lead by New York. Thompson puts it up. No! Rebound Julius. 24 seconds to the championship. Two on nothing. Williamson. 15 seconds to the championship. Williamson has the ball. 10 seconds to the championship. Skinner has the ball. Five seconds to the championship. Rick Jones, it's all over. It's all over with three seconds to go. And the crowd storms out of the court. One second, the clock is out, and the ball game's over. Pandemonium as the New York Nets win, 112-106. John, John Williamson, come on in first. What is the second half stuff with you? Huh? I had a terrible first half. I want to redeem myself, you know. I know that, like Kevin said, when I'm scoring, when I'm doing well, it's hard to beat it. And I thought about it in the second half. I had to come out to have a good game, and that's what I came out with. John, what was it, 22 in the second half? I don't know, Bob. All I know, we got that diamond again. And the field had that diamond, top of the world. Uh-huh. Number one. All right, Rich. Come on, Rich. Oh. Rich Jones had a tough shooting night, folks, but that doesn't mean that this man contributed. What, what are your thoughts, Richard? We won it. You know, Super uh, feeling. Uh, you know, I told John my shot wasn't there, so I said I played defense, go get the rebounds, and John took up the slack for me. It's so beautiful, man. This is my first one. Feel good? My first one in seven years. What's it feel like right now? God damn, I don't know, man. Wow. All right, Rich Jones. Chuck Terry. Well, it's getting a little bit crowded in here right now. Kevin, Kevin, come on in. Kevin Lockery, having trouble right now with all the players, doused with the champagne. Kevin, you were down by 22 in the third period. Uh, your thoughts at that time? I, I never doubted this team we got in this room that we had a shot. We put some pressure on them. They didn't accept the pressure very you, you well. You got to stay with the, the zone press. Did it tonight, well, didn't it? A lot of things did. I think great players did it first. I think people underestimated our team all year. It's the happiest basketball moment of my life. You guys didn't really want to go back to Denver, did no, you? I'm tired of Denver. I'm going All right, there. Kevin. All right, it happened. <laughs> We're getting the signal to uh, send it back to the studio. So that's it. The final score, the New York Nets 112. The uh, Denver Nuggets 106. They win it in six, four games to two.